tag team like Kyrie and KD Or the Lake Show with King James and AD Wish I could match him up with the bad boys from the 80s But no black and white, I need that in HD Yeah, dog Y'all, what's good y'all? It's your boy Ann here and we back to it You know how we do it Hey, I think this is gonna be like one of my most interesting videos ever Like ever, 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 ever so, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please, 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 before we get into this video, hit the subscribe button right now. You hit it yet? Did you hit it? Did you hit it? All right, cool, you hit it. All right, bad, bad, bad. all right, let's get it going. But yeah, man, I think this is about to be like a very interesting video. Like, I've been getting a lot of requests for this video too. You know, um, I guess this is like, one of Jordan's like dopest, coolest montages that kind of describes his career like in what, 16 minutes, it, it, it describes his career. So it should be pretty good, man. If you can kind of describe and kind of show the, the greatest player of all time's career in 16 minutes, then it gotta be a great video. And y'all know who I am. If y'all if y'all don't, if I never watched any of my videos, then I'm a diehard Kobe fan. I got my Kobe shirt on, it was only right, you know, for this video. You have watched my videos, and you know how much you know I rock with Kobe. Kobe is my my guy. You know, R.I.P. to the goat. R.I.P. to the to the, R.I.P. to my goat. And it's kind of kind of ironic I say that during this video, but R.I.P. to my goat. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm clarify that. But yeah, I think for this video, I'm gonna do a lot of observing, a lot of like a lot of let. I, I'm not gonna talk as much. You know, I'm gonna really observe this video. And, you know, kind of take what I want from it. Kind of, you know, kind of just, you know, learn some stuff. You know, I've, I've, I've watched a lot of Jordan growing up. But I don't think I've really, really, really just observed his game and appreciated it. Because I was always, you know, that guy. I was like, Kobe is my GOAT. Like, I see Kobe, you know, every time I see Jordan, I see Kobe. Like, so I really wasn't giving Jordan that, that opportunity in, in my brain to really, like, sit there and be like, wow, like. Jordan is the greatest of all time, man. Like, I only only reason why I say Jordan is the greatest of all time is because he does what Kobe do. He just did it first. So if Kobe is my goat, if I think you know, if I've never seen anybody you know as good as Kobe, then I gotta say Jordan is the goat because he's doing everything Kobe did. But first, so that's you know my opinion on why I say uh, Jordan is the goat. But I think after watching this 16 minute video, it's gonna really like show me, you know, why Jordan is the GOAT and, jo and Kobe is always behind him, man. Because uh, it was a time, you know, I was a little, a little arrogant, a little, I don't wanna say dumb, but just a little just, you know, a little blind, you know, where I would just be like, hey, Kobe, Kobe is doing what Jordan is doing in the 2000s. So Kobe has to be better, like, right? like. He's, he's a new and improved Jordan. Like that's how that's what I used to say. And it wasn't that long ago when I was saying that either. So again, man, I think this video is gonna help me put into perspective on how great Jordan was. So let's get into it, man. We got Michael Jordan's historic Bulls mixtape, The Jordan Vault. Oh yeah, if I got any other Kobe fans out there, write in the comments right now on you know who why you think that Kobe is better than Jordan or why you think Jordan is better than Kobe. And Jordan fans too, you know, I'm, I know I'm gonna get a lot of Jordan fans that's like that, uh, you know, get attracted to this video. So again, man, like, I don't really wanna, you know, do the debate too much, but I'm just, I'm kind of curious, you know, like how my, my fellow Kobe fans feel about Jordan, you know, and and, and, and where, do, where do we rank Kobe at? Cause I rank Kobe second, man. Kobe's second greatest all time on my book. You know, I'm not here to debate that. Uh, we can debate that for another video. They go Jordan, then Kobe, and then you can put whoever else you want to after that. But let's get into this video, man. Let's get it. To compete, to win. That's all I live for. Mm. Mm. This is all legendary stuff, though. Like, I remember all of this. I'm not here campaigning for the best player in the world or in history. I'm not saying, you know, because everybody plays different in different eras. He was. They talk about the Chicago Bulls. It's about Michael Jordan, the outstanding rookie from North Carolina. You know, come on, this level is a brand new start for me, man. I started from the bottom and worked my way up. So, uh, I started from the bottom, now we're here. Is that what Drake said? That's how I'm going to play the best I can. 
Alright. That's one thing I, I noticed off the bat. Jordan was a lot more athletic than Kobe. And that's saying a lot. That's saying a lot. Because Kobe could do any dunk he wanted to. But I think Kobe's athleticism definitely is top tier. You know, one of the most athletic players ever. But Jordan is in that argument for being the greatest athlete of all time. Like, the, the different hang time stuff we're about to see, like... Kobe was nice, but he was he wasn't that athletic. So just that right there, you know, Jordan kind of got off to a head start. Just being overly athletic, dunking from the free throw line, shit like that. Like Kobe really wasn't really wasn't on that. Like the rock the cradle, like. Oh my God. Mm. Bro, the hang time is crazy. And the soft touch. He low key started this fillet shit too. You know, everybody talking about fillet this, fillet that in, in, in 2020. Like, a lot of this shit in this video looked like he was doing all that, man. Dunking on everybody too. Every big man back in the day got dunked on by Jordan. Oh my god, come here Barkley. Come here Barkley. No, I'll never get out the way, Barkley. <laughs> hey, that's so tight. And I know. Kobe has studied this. Like, I know he studied all these moves. Just, that's why Kobe is, looks, looks so identical to this. Like, I see it. I see Kobe. Like, this is what I was seeing growing up. I never seen this. I wasn't alive when none of this was happening. I was alive when Kobe was doing it. So that's why I got, like, the crazy type of appreciation for Kobe. But it's the reason why he the GOAT, man. It's the reason why Kobe, my GOAT, was looking at this guy. Like, it's a reason why. Dunk on three people, then. Come here, Bird. Come here, Bird. That's historic. That's so historic, man. Got the way. Kevin McHale. And his hands. Kobe's hands wasn't that big. Kobe's hands weren't that big. Give it to Jordan, Scotty. For the win. And that reminded me of that Phoenix Suns game winner that Kobe had in the finals. I mean, in the, uh, in the playoffs. Mm. If you never watched any of our last dance videos, go ahead and watch those too. If you have watched them, shout out to y'all, man. Y'all some real ones. That was before we even had a thousand subscribers. The defense. And he locking up. He's locking up. Oh my god, the footwork. The footwork. Get it back. Get it back. Get it back. Hey! Little boy day tomorrow, Joe Dumars. Ooh, off the right leg dunk? I think the Pistons is what really turned Jordan up. The Pistons is really what turned him up. Like, if, like I said, if y'all never watched any of our last dance videos, go ahead and watch them. But that's what I learned in that. You know, they said that, you know, the Pistons was roughing him up. You know, they, they had to kind of change the rules because of how the Pistons was kind of Pushing him around and slamming him and grabbing him, but it's you know it's, it's I kind of heard you know if it wasn't for that you know Jordan wouldn't be who he is today. So Jordan kind of gotta you know.
kind of got to appreciate and thank Detroit, you know, for, for taking that approach to him. Because who knows, Jordan wouldn't be who he was today, the brand, if, 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 you know, Detroit didn't start treating him like that and didn't, like, wake up that monster that he had inside of him. So I'm trying to kind of figure out what's the equivalent, you know, of the Pistons to, you know, to, to Kobe. And, and I, I want to say maybe the Spurs, you know, Tim Duncan, you know, pl playing against him every year growing up, you know, they, they won some, they lost some. Tim Duncan got five rings. I think uh, Isaiah ended up having like three. But yeah, uh, I think it might be like the Spurs. Let me know right now in the comments before we get this video going again, like the equivalent, you know, of, of the Pistons to Michael Jordan. What is what is Kobe's equivalent to that? What team, you know? Woke Kobe up, you know, had Kobe out there like, all right, I got I to gotta work on my game because I'm not about to get past these dudes if I if I don't. And for me, I think it's the Spurs, though. But let me know. Let me know in the comments right now. Got the way, that beer. Oh! It's the, it's the hands for me. It's the hands. Kobe's hands wasn't that big. He couldn't just... You couldn't just do all that, man. It's a luxury to have. For the three? You're just doing anything in the air. Give me that shit, you, you. He said, I don't play conservative. I play all out. Playing conservative, that's how you get hurt, kids. Play all out or don't play at all. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lakers. So nice. No way. No way. Oh, this is when dude fainted. Watch number three, y'all. That boy fainted. That's so funny. He's literally dunked on every big. Come here, Barkley. Get out the way, Muggsy. Got a big plan against... That's a Space Jam team, ain't it? See Muggsy Bowles, then Charles Barkley back to back. He ain't gonna dunk it. He still dunk that? Oh, that's crazy. The hang time is crazy. That's what Kobe learned from him right there. That fadeaway. Oh my God, bro, I, it's a lot of these clips I've never seen before. Oh my God. Bro. He's dunking on everybody. Hey, hey. Oh my God, that might've been his greatest move ever right there. That might've been his greatest move ever. The pass. The fillet right there, man. In the form. In the form. Dunking all over the Lakers. <laughs> Dunking all over the Lakers, man. Mm. Hey! I ain't gonna lie. Hey, that move was a little overrated, y'all. I mean, it might have been like a super, super, super important time in that game or something, like a super key play. But watching that, like watching that play, like it's not as crazy as you know as it as it looked. You know, when they put it in slow motion, it looked crazy. But watching just like the regular gameplay of it, man, it's not that crazy of a layup. But like I said, it was probably a super key key play. Mm, beat the Lakers in the form. I know they was sick. Pass the torch. Magic pass the torch. And shout out to Magic too, man. Magic is the great arguably the greatest point guard ever write in the comments too if y'all think that steph is better than uh magic i think magic is still the best point guard uh without a doubt we all know steph is the greatest shooter we know that but the greatest point guard i'm going with is magic 
And shout out to Magic too. Shout out to Magic. He said that Kobe was the greatest Laker ever, which is crazy. You know, with him, with uh, James Worthy, with Kareem, with Wilt, like it's some, with Shaq, like it's some guys that came through LA. And Magic Johnson himself said that Kobe was the greatest Laker ever, man. So y'all, you know, people that you know, that don't that don't that don't believe that, hey, you gotta take what Magic's saying. You know, you gotta it, it, it holds some type of weight. He's with his eyes closed. Eyes closed. Hey, he's too good, man. He's too good. Get dunked on. Him. What's crazy is, I feel like 85% of these dunks is with one hand. Come here, Scotty, get a, get a highlight then. Let you know how big his hands is, though. Like, a lot of these dunks is all with one hand, just going up. Like, he got some with two, but most of these is with one. These are passing highlights. Two hander. Give me that. Grab that shit. That was a little travel though. They ain't calling travel on Mike. Another one. Another one. And he got the steal. And he got the steal. No, he ain't about to get the block too. That boy was working. That's, that, that was very reminded me of Kobe too, because Kobe used to work hard too. One hand. Give me that. I thought they throwing shit. I don't really remember Kobe really just throwing shit like that. Hitting the three. Y'all just hitting the three. Oh, that's, against, oh, that's against Portland. Oh, that's when he was going crazy from three. Hey, I don't even shoot threes like that. And that's one thing that I will, you know, I will give the edge, you know, over with Kobe is the, the, the three-point shooter. And I'm not sitting here saying Kobe was the greatest three-point shooter ever. Like, I ain't saying he was one of the greatest three-point shooters. Like, he, he wasn't. But he was better than Jordan. We can, we can look at them stats. You know, I think, you know, Kobe, you know, mastering Jordan's game so much, you know, trying to emulate it as much as he can. I think he realized, like, okay, if I can become a better three-point shooter, I got a chance to be better than Jordan. Like, I think that was really what was going through Kobe's head. I mean, I could be wrong. I wasn't there with Kobe, but I can see Kobe saying, like, okay, the one weakness, like, and it's not, it wasn't really a weakness, but he could say, like, the one thing I can see that, you know, Jordan could have had pro improved on during his career was his three-point shooting. So Kobe became a better three-point shooter than Jordan, so... That's why it's my favorite favorite player of all time, man. Gotta respect it. Hey, hey, get there. And he dunked it. He still dunked that? And one. His handles is low-key underrated, too. That's one thing I took from this, his, his handles. Let me write some notes down and talk to you, talk to y'all afterwards. For three. For three. Oh my god. That was crazier than the Mike than the uh, Dr. J. Oh my god. Get there. I'm still gonna dunk it. I'm still going to dunk it. His shot was a little flat. I don't know if y'all noticed that. Like, especially his three-point shots. That's probably why he didn't shoot that great. His shot looked more like a line draw. Reggie Miller, what you got? Reggie Miller, what you got? Nothing. Nothing at all. That boy floating. Hey! It's crazy. I 
I think he got more of those um, tip dunk free throws, like off of other people's free throws. I think he got more of them than anybody in like the history. I just seen like four in this clip. Mm. That's five. Oh my god. Just... Bro, he just. No way that he just jumped, missed it, still turned around and got the block. Bro, that's crazy. He's kind of undeniable. Going to the rack. And he's letting nobody stop him going to the hole. Bay. Bay. That's so nasty, bro. I tried David Robinson. Hang time. This hang time is crazy, y'all. pass. You see all these one hand dunks I'm talking about, though? Like, it shows how big them hands is. And the footwork is immaculate. The footwork is immaculate. Mmm. This really reminds me of like a magician. Oh my god. Like this is like something like, you know, you know when David Blaine come around and you know people be like, wow, he really just did that. This is this is kind of how I feel watching this. Like, how is he doing this with this basketball? Like it's, it's really it's really amazing, man. Like I don't I never seen nothing like it, man. Like you know, I used to always talk about Kobe, but I never really watched this. To the ears of Bulls fans, Michael Jordan will be in uniform for the Chicago Bulls. Michael summed up his decision to return in two words. This is the return? This 45 is back? This number 45, Jordan? For any people that you know that was in the basketball world around this time. What is this, like 90, 95, 96? I was two years old, so I don't know nothing about none of that. But if you was around watching basketball around this time, like how was the NBA, like how was the, the NBA world when Jordan came back? Like was people kind of thinking like, man, he ain't about to do nothing, man. He just retired, he went and played baseball. Like it's, it's some new sheriffs in town. I don't know who won it. it was the Rockets that won it that year he was out. So they like, man, he going to have to come back. Shoot, he, he might not be as good as he is. Or everybody was like, oh, it's a wrap. You know, <laughs> Jordan's back. You know, was it like he came back and won three rings after that. But was that kind of like the the prediction? Did everybody kind of know that he was going to do that? Or was he getting written off? Because I wasn't there. I only know that he won. He was 6-0. and like, I just know he was always the best, but was he known to be the best is my question, like, after he retired and came back. Like, that's my that's my question. So let me know in the comments right now. I'm, I'm actually kind of curious about that. 45. Came back with a whole new number and everything, like, who do you think he is? I guess that's like, that's like uh, LeBron switching his number all the time. For the win, for the win, get to your spot. Get to your spot. They just go slap the half court. He disrespectful. He's disrespectful. Another game winner. Oh yeah, how long did he did he stay with number forty five too, y'all? If you know, just like for like half a season. Like, what are you doing, dude? Hey, hey. Okay, this ball head, Michael, right here. I could be wrong, but like, this is when I felt like his footwork, like his athleticism was going down a little bit. Like he wasn't doing all that crazy ass dunking he was doing when he had the taper. But now I feel like his footwork, his fadeaway, his toughness, like, I feel like everything else went up more, you know, during this 
ball head, second term Jordan. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about that. But that's kind of how I how I see this. How I see this. Like he got more unstoppable just because he his footwork just got crazier, man. Like everything about him got crazier, but his athleticism. Passing. Oh my God, handles. Like, I didn't realize his handles was this crazy. Oh my God. Now, he's still out there dunking like crazy though. <laughs> okay, Robin. Gotta be ready, Penny. You gotta be ready, Penny. Mm. Mm. Why would you ever jump with Michael Jordan? He jumps too high, he's too big, and his hands is too big. He's gonna dunk on you every single time. Game winner. Game winner. Game winner. That's all you gotta do. When you're the GOAT, that's all you gotta do. Hey, hey, get to my spot and just race. That's something that I learned from Kobe that I'm sure Kobe learned from him is you don't need great, great, great handles in order to get, you know, whatever shot you want. All you got to do is know where you want to be on the court, where your favorite spots on the court and get there. Have just enough handles to get to the spot you want to get to and work on your jump shot to where you can raise and shoot that joint. He's literally dunking like 67 people in this video. It's crazy. Matumbo. Come here, Ray Allen. What you thought you was doing, Ray? What you doing, Ray? Hey. Bro, he was playing in Jordan 1s. Not only was he doing all this jumping and dunking, like, he was doing it in a pair of Jordan 1s. Like, I don't even like walking in my Jordan 1s. This dude was scoring 50 in him. Hey. Hey. Don't work crazy. Yeah, that's the that's that's the highlights Kobe was studying right there. Alright, let's talk about it, man. Was it a push-off or not? Was it a push-off? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of jazz fans that's gonna say it is, or a lot of Knicks fans, whoever don't care for Jordan, but I didn't watch this this highlight at least 20, 30 times, man. And I don't know. I don't I don't think it was. It wasn't it wasn't a push off. He had his hand on his hip, but it wasn't a push off. He just he just hey. I think I think the way he messed Byron Russell up, it looked like it was a push off. But let's let's, let's watch it. The last shot. Hey! hey that's tough. That's so tough. Was it a push off though? Let's, let's, let's see. Yeah, I ain't a push off. He had his hand on his leg though. He just snatched back. Splash. Damn, man. I gotta, I gotta give him his flowers, man. I gotta give him his respect, man, because with no Jordan, there's no Kobe. With no Kobe, there's no, there's no me. There's no me wanting to, you know, pursue basketball. And I wouldn't be in LA right now if it wasn't, you know, for my love for Kobe and, and you know, what he did for the Lakers. So honestly, J Michael Jordan is the reason why I'm in LA right now. This is crazy. I just thought about that, y'all. Michael Jordan is the reason why I'm in LA. Because if Kobe would have never emulated his game, Kobe wouldn't be who he was. And I would have just had another favorite player. And I would have been in, uh... Somewhere in Minnesota, somewhere out of, I don't know where I would have been, man, but shout out to Jordan, man. Shout out to Michael freaking Jordan. He's, he's, he's the GOAT, you know. And, you know, I'm done saying that, that Kobe is, is better than him. You know, I'm not about to do that no more. I'm about to just let Kobe be who he is. You know, Kobe is my GOAT. He's the greatest I ever, you know, watched live and watched, you know, 
watch go through their prime and get better and lose and win and you know ups and downs like I didn't I didn't witness that with Jordan you know I'll just see the, you just see the highlights of Jordan so that's why that's why Kobe is my goat but obviously Jordan is the goat you know he's still doing every he did everything that that Kobe did plus more so yeah I think some of the stuff that I was kind of surprised about in this video, though, like I didn't realize that that Jordan's handles was that crazy. You know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that. I, I thought he was one of them guys, you know, that just, could just get to his spot, you know, and, and shoot and dunk. But no, his handles was crazy. You know, he had he had crazy handles. And another thing I didn't realize is the blocks he was getting. He he was in between, you know, the LeBron and D Wade. You know, he was a mixture of both of them on the defensive end. And that's that's crazy. That's crazy. I, I didn't I didn't know that. And uh, what was the last thing I wrote it down? Last thing that kind of surprised me in that video was uh, no that was that was it. That was it. Those those two those two was the main two. You know that surprised me watching that video. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. You know, coming from a diehard Kobe fan, it, it's good to just watch Jordan highlights and kind of you know realize that. The shit that Kobe was doing, it had been done before, man, by, by, by Michael Jeffrey Jordan. So, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. Talk to me. Talk to me. I think this is my most uh, interesting video I've done. So, um, yeah, make, make sure y'all, again, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You know, I'm trying to get to 10K subscribers, man. That's, the, that's my next goal, so... I appreciate everybody that's you know been watching, that's that's been with me along this journey. You know, it, it doesn't go unnoticed. Everyone that's you know commenting in the community channel and engaging with me, like I really really appreciate it. And I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna give some giveaways soon. You know, I'm gonna try to give back as much as I can. But I appreciate y'all on this journey with me, man. But that's it.